Thanks. Well, a trail of destruction through a Lehigh Acres neighborhood. Yeah, a pickup dri truck driver crashes into a home, backs up, and then puts their foot in it again. The driver crashed into another car before his pickup truck does a swan dive into a canal. Wake News reporter Jolina Esperto is live now in Lehigh Acres. Jolina, you spoke to the family living inside that house, the house that was hit by the truck. It was just another night for them, wasn't it? And until it wasn't. Jessica lives here with her husband and her kids, and she was just getting out of bed. She was waking up for her night shift at work. She hadn't even actually gotten out of bed yet, which is right on the other side of this wall, and that's when a pickup truck slammed straight into her bedroom. A home where a husband, wife, four children, two dogs, and a cat live has 10 years worth of memories. Now, just before Christmas, the place where mom and dad sleep is damaged after a pickup truck slammed through the wall with a bed headboard against it while Jessica Vandross was still lying in bed. I was actually sitting up. I had just gotten up to get ready right. to go to work. So I always lay on the side, the left side. All I remember is just being thrown to the floor, honestly, and oh just in the blocks and everything just falling all over us. And she wasn't the only one in the room. Her husband was too. I thought it was an earthquake, quite honestly. And then my husband was on the floor. He seen the, the big pickup truck inside. He just reversed and floored it and kept going. Kept going, getting into at least one other crash before plunging into this canal nearby. I spoke to Matthew Tyman over the phone. He told me he was in the passenger seat of the work van that same truck hit after hitting the Vandross home. We were slammed into extremely hard as if it felt like we were like sitting still and someone just hit us at like 100, 120 miles an hour and hit us so hard, shoved us off the road across the oncoming lane of traffic and all the way over along that canal and at, immediately right behind that us that that person went past us and dukes a hazard right on into the canal. Tymon told me after the crash he helped the other driver out of the canal. Both he and Jessica told me they're thankful they weren't hurt. Thankfully everybody all the pets are safe. Everybody's good. And the Vandross family is still in a state of shock. And Florida Highway Patrol has not yet identified the driver responsible, but they did tell me a 27-year-old man was driving the Ram pickup truck that eventually crashed into the canal last night. Live in Lehigh Acres, Jolina Spurdo, Wink News.